Diana from Free Speech TV in Bloomfield, Indiana. How are you going? I'm okay. <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all right. All right, go ahead. I definitely think he committed impeachable offense. Okay. He should have been voted out of office. He was not found not guilty. This is obviously a cover-up. And I'm thinking of moving to Canada. If he gets reelected, I'm going right, to see what I can do to move on. to Canada. Okay, all right, all right, Diana, I, want, I, I appreciate the call. i got to respond to the Canada thing. Because I've now had multiple discussions about this Canada thing. Although the last time it wasn't a Canada thing, it was a Costa Rica thing. And it was a guy who just I have huge respect for. Uh, a guy named Jim Brumberg. If anybody listens to the Daily Show, the New York Times uh, podcast, he's the guy that does the music on that on that podcast. They say they say, oh, thanks to Jim Brumberg and Wonderly, uh, and the and also his uh, musical partner. And he owns a couple music venues in my town, and and he's a friend. And we were just hanging out there tonight. And he uh, and he was saying, Jeff, this is more than I can handle. I, if we're going to do another four years of this, I got to move to Costa Rica. And I'm like, no. And and I know that my response is somewhat typical, and you're going to hear it. But I, I'm going to make I'm going to go further than what you've heard a little bit. It's it's the no, we need you. If you're going to move, move to a purple state. We need you because the country needs you. If good people abdicate, somebody's not going to abdicate. If good people don't engage, somebody's still going to engage. If good people don't try to work to be in control of our democracy, someone's still going to work to be in control of our democracy. And if all the good, if it's not the good people, who does that leave? We need you, Diana. We need you, Jim Brumberg. We can't just leave. You can take vacations. You can, like, turn off Facebook. You can tune in every single day to the Tom Hartman program as a break, just as a break. But don't leave. But I don't go further than that. It's not just the country needs you. It's not just democracy needs you. It's the world needs you. Because this country, another dear friend of mine, he does, his name's Tim Marcroft. He's uh, training to be an economist. He's living in France. His wife is growing a hop farm. Uh, he does, he's an old x-ray guy, wonderful guy. And, and we have this discussion. And he's like, well, why does, why does the United States matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. The United States matters. This is, our military means we matter. Our economy means we matter. The United States being in control, being controlled by, being influenced by people who care about democracy, people who care about humanity, people who care about the environment, people who care about humanity, that isn't just a matter for Oklahoma or Oregon or Ohio. That is a matter for Osaka. That is a matter for every place around the world. Who runs the United States matters to the world. So it's not just, I'm going to say, oh, your country needs you. No, the world needs you. So, Diana, all I'm saying is if you move to Canada, you're letting down the entire world. You mean go where you want. You have the freedom to live where you want. Just know that if you do it, you're letting down the entire world. I understand. I empathize. I feel the pain, as a former president once said. Yours. Vacations, very legitimate. Very, like, vacations, very legitimate. But as Paul Wellstone said, don't complain, organize.